Hey everybody, welcome back to Alpha Cave. It's good to see you guys once again. Today we're going to talk a little bit about biotech stocks. It's been a while since we talked about biotech stocks, so I wanted to mention those very briefly. And we recently bought a stock called Travina. It was a company called Travina, TRVN. They just recently went through the Padufa date and the stock actually went up from about a buck 80 all the way to about 359 i believe it's still in the three dollar range like 304 right now but it was a good uh, profit and so i figured let me look at another company and see how that one will do and there's one that's coming up and i want to talk about that one right now so what is padufa date first of all that is the prescription drug user fee act and it's the process that we've used here in the United States since 1992 to get medications final approval so that they can be distributed out for use by our consumers or our patients. And some of the medications get to this point and they get denied. Some get back to send back and get to more trials and they have to go through more testing and studies before they get approved. And then some, you know, that they make it to this point with flying colors and they're going to get approved and those are the companies that i think that you would want to put your money into now of course saying that we're not stock experts we just like to dive into these and invest our money into these companies if we get the opportunity but definitely talk to your advisors your professional advisors to see if you should uh, invest into any of these companies as well now let's get to the medication that we're talking about today its Padufa date will be October 22nd. It is called Zosano Pharma, that is a company, and the letters are Z-S-A-N. Now, I I bought this one at $1.50 the other day because I saw what the medication was. It's already a medication that has been approved for migraine use. Its other brand name is called Zomig, and it's a good medication that works very well, but now this is going to be a different delivery system for it. So it's gonna be just injected into the arm. Basically, the needles are very tiny that they're just gonna go into the outer layer of the skin. So you're not gonna have much pain from it. In fact, I think only like 10% of the people had any pain at all. And it delivers the medication much faster to your bloodstream and it works just faster than, than the oral use of the medication. The studies have been good on this medication, and I believe that it's something that's going to be approved. In fact, I was looking uh, through one of our searches here for the medications, and they already have it listed here to be uh, ready to get sold to the market. And it just says that it's pending approval by the FDA. So that's actually really impressive that it's already listed there, ready to go. And once it gets approval, it will be on the market. I think it will be a big hit. I think it will sell. And people with migraines want to get those pains to go away faster. This gets into your system a lot faster. And therefore, the effects hopefully will be faster. Migraines will be less. And we shall see how it does. But I think like I'm doing with all these companies now is I will buy and as soon as they get approved, I'll probably be selling and I'm not going to be in it for the long term myself. In fact, if the price spikes tremendously before the Padufa date, I might sell then and then purchase again and then sell them again after the Padufa date, depending how it does. But the the price has already gone up from where I bought it. I think I bought it at 150 and it was at 162 today. So I, I always try to put a, a lower price. I put a limit price on it. So a low limit price so that if it hits that price, then I can sell. In fact, that's what I did with TRVN, Trevina. I had put a, a price of 180 on there, but the price had already gone higher into the $2.20, $2.30. But for whatever reason, on that date, uh, the Padufa date, it dropped down to 180 briefly. I was able to purchase them, and then I was able to sell them within five minutes, I think. So you make profit pretty quick that way. Hopefully, it will be the same with this. I did buy them a little bit earlier than the other medication. I hadn't been looking at the biotech stocks lately, 
but I think that this might be a winner. It might make us some profit. And I think this company might do very good with this injectable uh, form of medication. And it's a, uh, it might be very, very good and might be good for other medications as well in the future. All right, guys, this is David for Alpha Cave. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. We'll talk to you later.